What's up guys, welcome to Mtech Studios and today I have another video for you guys. My name is Tron if you don't know, so today we're going to be installing a cold air intake on my car. So let's get to it. So this is a box here with everything in it. You can see here we have the intake pipe. That is what's going to connect to the throttle body and go to the filter. And this is the actual filter here. You can see it's a very, I'm trying to do this alone. Right? It's a very, very large filter. So hand, hand comparison, my hand fits in the filter. So we have that. Some silicone coupler, couplers. Our tunes racing. You got more couplers. We have hoses. And I believe there's some clamps in there. You have some stainless steel clamps. I'm not sure if they're stainless steel. And then we have here the filter adapter. And then this is a shield here, a metal shield. So we're going to get ready to install this. So let's go outside to the car. Alright guys, excuse the wind noise behind me. You can see it is cloudy outside. It's about to rain. So dirty engine cover there. But what we're going to mainly be focusing on here is we have the, the air intake box right here filters inside of there and then we have this intake tube here now I didn't read the instructions on it but on most cold air intake kits you have an engine cover that's cover covering like the throttle body but on here there we don't really have to worry about that then we have this tube here that's coming from I think the PCV valve system the positive crank case positive crank case ventilation which that's what you tie your catch can into to filter out the air that's going coming from the engine into the intake box and then we have our MAF sensor here so we're main, we're only going to have to worry about the MAF sensor here and this hose here but other than that this is a quick easy swap so let's get started Alright guys, so we have our socket here, we're just going to undo this clamp here, it wasn't even tight, oh my gosh, doing this one hand it is so hard, I'm going to take this one off, we're going to pull this hose off here, easy like that, we're going to just tuck at this, that's off and then you just have to tug at that and that's all so you can see the inside of here these are like baffles here they quiet down the intake but they also this is what the um, PCV vents into so you can see our throttle body here you can see there's oil on there so the PCV is it vents the oil from the from the crankcase which is where you're like camshaft and crankshaft sit out inside the engine and so when those are spinning they create pressure inside the engine and that pressure has to be relieved somehow and so manufacturers figure all that oil that's mixed in with the air from all those things mixing up and aerating the oil they'll just send it through this tube here so they're just going to send it back into the intake where the engine will just burn it off again and well you can see here that there is oil like all around this ring here so we might put a a catch can in here later on could be our next mod and now we just have to go after this intake box so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our MAF sensor you gotta be careful with these not to damage them I believe that's a seven millimeter bolt alright guys so we got the first bolt out now we just have that bottom bolt to take out I'm gonna unplug it just to make this easier so we just pushed that wire over to the side. All right, so the, I just took out the bottom bolt. You can see the mass sensor is loose, so we're just gonna gently pull it out. And this is what your Camaro mass sensor looks like, guys. Do not get this wet. So we're just gonna set that up there on top of the engine cover. And now we're gonna go out to the box. So the box has these tabs around it. We're gonna try to force that one. Oh, that one won't come up. We got one got two and the lids off 
have to get this bolt off which is a 10 mil and this bolt here off which is another 10 mil I believe yeah, they're all 10 mils so we're gonna just undo those two bolts and it should come right out I don't think there's anything else holding it in place besides those two All right, the air box is gone, guys, as you can see. Sorry to put the camera down. It took two hands and uh, quite a bit of force to pull it out. All right, so we have this big shield here, and I'm just gonna set it down and see where it goes. So, clearly it mounts something like that. We're gonna tighten this down. All right, guys, so we have the next piece here. I'm not going by any instructions. This kit did not come with any, so I'm just guessing. So we have this piece here, and there are two holes right there, so. We're gonna do that. All right, so the kit came with hardware, so I'm guessing these are the bolts that go in there. We're gonna test thread them inside of here. So they thread in. So we're just gonna thread this guy. Oh, I dropped the washer. All right, I'm gonna set you guys back for a second. All right, guys, so we're gonna leave this side alone for right now because we're gonna go out to the throttle body side because you can see this bolt is tightened all the way down and there's still room. There is a second washer in the box, but I don't think that's enough to close that gap. So we're just gonna start the throttle body side and say hi to the bird that's way up there mocking us. And there you go, so he saw me recording. We're just, we have the silicone coupler here that we're gonna squeeze over that. And we have, that's easy. We have a hose clamp to go over that. Hose clamp over a silicone coupler, and it just nicely fits. So we're not gonna tighten that down all the way. While wow, that really digs into this, um, to the silicone, you can see there, it scratches it up. All right, so we're gonna put that there, and we're gonna grab the intake pipe. All right, second hose clamp goes on. Oh my gosh. They pick just the right, like a size that barely just goes over it. It has to be almost all the way undone to get over the silicone. All right. All right, that is done. This silicone here adapting into that part there, so. Alright guys, so the cold air intake is done. You can see, well not completely, I still have to tighten this clamp here, which will be easy, and this clamp down here, if I can get it to rotate around, and that clamp right here. These two are tightened, you can see we had to remove our PCV, PCV hose, and the way we did that is the PCV hose actually ties down into I don't know why you guys can see that the hose is right here and if you follow it that's it right here it runs down to a little oh my gosh you guys can't see it but you get the point it runs down to a little hose down there it's right literally right here where my finger is and so and then that connects there we have our math connected all tightened down and last thing we have to do is just tighten up those last bolts and put the engine cover back on then we'll be done so that clamp is tightened down there that's done and that bracket down there I actually got that done got it with the impact so time to start it up it's not even loud no more it's like soft now All right, guys, so it's done. As you heard, it is not loud. It is, in fact, quieter. Let me give it a few rows. See the sound. Oh, yeah, I hear the whistle. <laughs> 
fuck was that? Oh, that bitch sound like some turbo in that bitch or something. Alright guys, so that's it for our colder intake and solve for today. Let me know how I did for not having 